Hey guys, it's me Crystal from MarchingNorth.com and today I'm going to show you how to do punch needle embroidery on your jeans. Let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm using an old pair of my husband's Levi jeans. These are 100% cotton. I don't know if this will work on a blend, but it's always worth a try. I'm going to be punching right here on the front by the pocket. First, turn the jeans inside out. For this project, you'll need a small wooden embroidery hoop. Separate the rings of the hoop and put the inner hoop on the other side in the area where you're going to be punching. Loosen the screw on the outer ring of the embroidery hoop and press it down over the inner ring. Pull the fabric tight all the way around the hoop and tighten the screw. These kinds of hoops are not ideal for punch needle, but since it's such a small project, they work fine. You'll just have to tighten it a few times. Here's what it looks like on the other side. For this project, I'm using DMC number no. five pearl cotton. I'm also using the ultra punch with the largest needle and I have it set to a stitch height of two. I'm also going to put some washable fabric glue on the back to keep it safe in the washing machine. Draw your design onto your fabric with a pen or a marker. I decided to draw a cute heart. Thread your punch needle and then punch the outline of your design. Remember to keep your outline stitches closer together than your filler stitches. Here's how it'll look at this point. I promise it will look better once you fill it in. Now it's time to do your filler stitches. Keep these stitches a little bit further apart than you did your outline stitches and just keep going around and around your shape in a spiral until it's all the way filled in. I noticed a few bald spots on the other side, so I'm filling those in now.
Trim your thread even with the loops. Use the end of your scissors or your punch needle to poke the loops into place until you're happy with the way it looks. Add a pretty good layer of fabric glue to the back of your design, and then spread it around evenly with a paintbrush or with your finger. Be sure you cover the whole back of your design. Once the glue is dry, you can remove the embroidery hoop, turn your jeans right side out, and marvel at your punch needle handiwork. If you use the same glue as I did and color fast thread, you can wash these in the washing machine like normal. You might want to turn them inside out for precaution, but I have a sweatshirt that I did this on and I just throw it in the wash with everything else and it's been fine. If you enjoyed this video, please take a minute to give it a like and then subscribe to my channel for more tutorials about punch needle and other DIY fun. Thanks for watching.